everybody says you hear a, uh, you know, the train uh, sound. I did not hear that. All I had was an eerie gray sky with no ra- rain, no wind, no nothing, no animals, nothing. I could hear anything. And I thought in the back of my head, either for intervention of God or, or for past watching movies, I knew that was not a safe situation. So literally, uh, and my son and wife was calling, Dad, get inside. So we ran inside into the bathroom, which I knew was our strongest point. My son was parked right here. My wife was back in here next to the tub when I was here. My son's closest to the door, and I could hear this wind just howling and, and, and just praying to God that it wasn't going to rip down to the floor. That's so thankful. But... We got inside literally 15, 20 seconds before we were here in our house being ripped apart. We're here with crew. It lasted maybe 20 seconds. That hole was there. When I walked in that night. I mean, there was a hole out to the sky at that point there where it ripped that out. Then we could smell the gas going. Uh, apparently, two houses down, the two stories got demolished and uh, bricks had fallen down on the gas meters. My garage door was gone uh, off the door, and my wife's car, which was on the driveway, uh, was tossed three doors down, upside down on its hood. Soon after the Christmas tornadoes hit, I began to get text messages and phone calls um, about church members that had been hit. And walking through their homes um, completely destroyed, some just rubble, and showing me these little places where they hid and the roof gone, to imagine that kind of destruction um, for the people that I know and love and serve. Um, was, it's been really hard. One particular family, um, they all went into the closet. She said that they all held hands. And they said the Lord's Prayer, and then it was over. And then her husband walked out to see what had happened. And she said that when she came back, she knew from the look in his eyes that everything was gone, that it was real this time. It wasn't just pretend or something that just skipped past them that everything that they had was gone. We moved into different neighborhoods, but it was when we got on one street, one street where it seemed like every house was devastated. And we learned that only four people were still living on that street. Everyone had had to leave. One person looked at the shirt that I wore and it had a United Methodist symbol on it. And she reached out and she said, My family's here. And we hugged strangers and yet connected.